To add your own images to Snagit, in this case I'm using Snagit 13.1.1, is to add it as a stamp, or add them as a stamp if you have multiple images that you'd like to be able to reuse over and over again in Snagit. So I'm going to go to Stamp here, and what you want to do is click right here where it says Organize Stamps. That will bring up this window here. And what I like to do is organize my stamps, so I have quite a few of them here. So I'm going to make sure that my stamps is highlighted, and I'm going to click New Folder. I have a collection of red stamps, or red arrows, that I'd like to add to my stamps. So I'm going to give this uh, new folder or category a name. Here's a little tip for you. If you want your new folder or uh, category to be at the top of your list, add a plus sign in front of it. So I'll put plus sign and then I'm going to call these red arrows. Okay, and I'll click add. And then you'll see it's at the top of my list. If I wouldn't have put the plus sign, it would have been in alphabetical order down farther on my list here where the red R's start. So that's just a little tip for you if you want to organize them and keep your most frequently used um, stamps or images at the top of your list. Okay, now we need to add those red arrows. So once I have my folder, I'm going to select it and I'm going to add stamp. In this case, I have a collection of red stamps here. Now you could select one and click OK and it will add it to my red arrows folder. But what if I want to add all of those? So I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. Let's go back to add stamp. I'm going to click on the first one I'm going to shift click or you could control click and select hold, while you're holding the control key just pick which ones you want. I'm going to go ahead and add all of these though and I'm going to put open and there you have all your all, I have all my red arrows into my red arrow uh, folder and I'm going to go ahead and close that. Okay so let's say that um, I'm in a different folder here we'll just use map Okay, <clears throat> and I want to add a red arrow. I want to add one of my red arrows to this, so I would just make sure stamps is selected. Go to the drop down here, find my red arrows folder, select the arrow that I want, and add it to my image. Now I can resize it, I can rotate it, I can change the shadow and the opacity. The only thing is, is that when you add your own images, you will not have the option to change the color of it or um, any of that type of stuff, add outlines, you can't really edit it in Snagit. So the image that you put in is what you're going to have. But you can resize it, like I say, rotate it however you'd like, or change the opacity and the shadow. Okay, And you do have some of the functions with the shadow if you want to get crazy here. Um, change the opacity, blur it out, whatever. You, so shadow is about your only option to manipulate your image, but hey, that's how it is. So okay, there you go. That's how the best way to add your own image to Snagit so that you can reuse them over and over again. I hope that was helpful. Take care.